Hi, welcome to our WordPress video on plugins. In this particular video, we're looking at a plugin called WP Slim Stat. And what we do to get this plugin going is we come down to plugins. And we can choose add new from here. We can choose up here. So I just want to show you, choose add new. And then we're searching for a plugin called WP Slim Stat. And we choose search plugins. Now, the Slim Stat one here we want, and we're also going to install in a moment the dashboard wid widgets, but this is entirely optional. Let's just do this one for the moment. And we choose OK. And then we choose to activate the plugin. And now we can come down to the settings. Under General, Enable Tracking is Yes. Monitor Admin Pages, we can leave this to No. Enable Spy Mode, we can leave to Yes. Menu Position, Side Menu, Admin Bar, Add stats to post, yes or no. Retain data for a length of time. Under views, convert IP addresses. The number format, show display name, show user string, show titles. If you go through each of these options, you can choose to set these however you like. I tend to leave these at this stage as default under filters. Track registered users if we want to, so enable this option to track logged in users as well as logged out users. We can blacklist by username, IP address and by capability. We can ignore spammers, which I choose to set to yes. Country codes that we don't want to track, we can include in here. Browsers we don't want to track, we can put into here. Referring URLs we don't want to track. Enable privacy mode which masks your IP address to comply with European privacy laws. So if you are actually going out to a European audience, it's good to check this box to comply with the European privacy laws. Then we go ahead and save changes. Under permissions, restrict authors, enable this option if you want your authors to only see stats related to their own content. Capability, activate plugins and it tells you here that if this field is empty all your users will have access to reports unless a read access whitelist has been specified below on the advanced section I tend to leave these to their default and then under maintenance we can data maintenance we can delete page views and we can choose options here we can delete the database, empty all page views. We can choose to re improve performance if we want to. And there we are done for now. We choose general. Now under SlimStat, if we go to the activity log, there's no data display because this is a brand new site that we're setting up. But over time, you'll actually see at a glance activity within your site. You can see overviews, you can see visitors, content they're looking at where the traffic sources are coming from, a world map to see where most of your visitors are coming on. There's add-ons and settings here as well. So it's a fantastic tool that you can use to monitor traffic, where they're coming from, and what they're most looking at when they come to your site. And the reason why I recommend you install this plugin at the beginning of a site's life is because that then as you start to grow and get traffic, you're gonna get some useful data that you can see. If we go back to dashboard, We'll see at the moment we don't have any information. Now if we wanted to, we can install the SlimStat dashboard widget. So we do that by going to Plugins, Add New. We can type into SlimStat again if we want to. And then we're looking for the dashboard widgets. Or we could have typed this into the search to begin with. We then choose Install Now. OK. Activate the plugin. And what this is going to do now is if we choose dashboard, we're now going to get some information such as page views, about WP Slimstat, at a glance, currently online, spy view, research top pages, all of these, visit duration, all information that we want to keep. But if we scroll up to the top here and we choose screen options, we can now get rid of the ones that we're not interested in. So I tend to get rid of about Slimstat, currently online, spy view, top known visitors, top browsers, 
and then I close my screen options. And this way it just gives me a bit more information like page views at a glance, recent search terms, top pages, top search terms, the visit duration, categories and posts. And now we can, if we left click when this changes to a cross here, if we left click and we go up the page here, just drag up, we can choose to put this where we want to see it. So we can see at a glance what the top posts are, we could put this one here and see which is the most recent search terms, the top search terms, the top pages, and the top categories. So I've got top posts, top categories, top pages, top search terms, and recent search terms. And again, if I want to get rid of these, I just do screen options, and I choose to remove one and manage it how I like. But this way, whenever I log into my dashboard, rather than coming down to Slimstat and looking for the information here, which you can do, I can just get a snapshot when I first log in as to how my blog is doing. And that's how you install WP Slimstat to use on your blog.